Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am out at the Salt Flats, you know, in Utah. It's an ancient ocean. It's very flat, hence the name. And yes, in case you were wondering, it's very salty. Flat and salty, the Salt Flats. Great name, you know. More places should be named things that just make sense, right? Kinda, kinda seems like a good idea. Kinda, maybe. But I've explored out here a ton. It's super cool. It's really cool. This road, very long. I ran this road once, ran all the way out there to those mountains. Oops, sorry. <laughs> to those mountains. Mm, bleep, right there. Climbed those mountains, and then it got dark and it's out here in the dark. What's really, really trippy with the salt flats is it's so salty, seaweed is growing out of the water. That's pretty trippy, making a fire with seaweed. Uh, but another thing is like when you're exploring, you usually have to worry about wild animals. Not worry, but like peripheral awareness, situational awareness, understanding that, yeah, if you're in the mountains, typical mountains, a uh, mountain lion, could roll up on your camp. Um, I've had that happen before. But other wild animals like foxes and wolves and bears, there's no wild animals out here because they, they just simply can't survive out here. There's, You'll see birds and I saw a chipmunk. Like that dude's lost. <laughs> I saw a chipmunk way out there on that mountain. And maybe he just knows something I don't. But there's not a whole lot of vegetation or anything. There's no fresh water out here. So I don't know how that chipmunk is actually alive out here. He must have found like a freshwater spring or something. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys salt flats. It's really cool. Ancient ocean in Utah, similar to like the Dead Sea in Israel. It's just fascinating. Like obviously of the salt lake, the Great Salt Lake. That's a huge body of salt water. But... Moral of the story is go exploring. Go exploring. It's super fun. It's super fun. And if you don't like exploring, um, you should definitely go exploring because then you might like it. You know, it's like your parents probably said at one point in your life or, or your your uh, teachers or whatever, they're like, no, you don't want to go to class or I know you don't want to do this activity, but just try it. So, go explore. It's not just good for your body and your mind. It's good for every aspect of your life. All of you. All, like, all of your essence. All that you are. Seriously. If you, if you think I'm wrong, I mean, well, go exploring. Prove me wrong. Uh, it's, you're going to have a really hard time proving me wrong because, like, guaranteed you'll have fun. Unless you, like, really suck at exploring, then hire somebody that knows what they're doing. You can hire me if you want. I'll go exploring with you. I love exploring. Oh, and it's just so simple. It's like pick a destination. It's like, okay, uh, that mountain right there. Boom. I'm going there. Never been there before. Okay, let's go check it out. Expand the terrain of your mind and your life. Because if you haven't been somewhere, it's a really cool experience to like explore new territory. I mean, a lot of people go hiking, same hikes and everything. I've talked about this before. But when you explore new territory, new places all throughout the world, all throughout the earth, it's like you're expanding your awareness of understanding who you are. And you get to know yourself at a deeper level. And it's really fun, in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. You don't have to believe me. Go figure it out for yourself. So, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. Uh, that's, I was just simply showing you the salt flats. <laughs> oh, I'm such a dork. Okay, love you guys. Thanks for watching. Do your thing. Like, subscribe, comment, or don't subscribe. Don't like. Or you can comment, like, stuff that's lame if you want. That's kind of stupid to do. But do whatever you want. You're free. You're sovereign to do whatever you want to do. Should be nice. Try to be nice. So, over and out. See you guys later. I'm going to go 
take this puppy on the salt flats. Oh yeah. <laughs> See how fast I can get this incredibly, incredibly amazing sports car. See how fast I can get it going. I'll give you a hint. It doesn't go very fast because it's not a sports car. It's a freaking van. Um, but it's still really fun. <laughs> the salt flats are so cool. Like no speed limits here. I need to bring my motorcycle out here. Though. Out here at the salt flats. I just did a little video. I might add this into the video I just did, but I wanted to share something with you about addictions and alcohol. And like, we all have different addictions. Uh, when I got divorced, I started drinking a lot, started drinking a ton and kind of like numbing out. Like I'm a father, I have daughters and I really was bummed not being with my daughters all the time. Really sucked, really sucked. Um, and I used alcohol kind of to numb out. Like at first I was like partying with my friends and just having fun. But then I just started drinking by myself and I have it in my jeans, apparently like my grandparents and stuff on like both sides of my family. I have alcoholics in my jeans. And I just realized like I was giving into drinking a ton and totally acting like a fucking alcoholic. So I've been traveling to different places where I've been completely inebriated, where whether I was by myself or with other people, I was participating in activities of like, I wasn't, I wasn't my true self. So I'm going back to those locations now that I'm completely sober and clear minded and have so much clarity i have so much clarity it's really it's really amazing i'm really grateful for it so cruise back to the salt flats just to do some exploring and i'm going back to all these locations where i had memories of like or maybe not the most clear memories because i was inebriated um but i'm like working on repairing locations where i just wasn't i wasn't my true self I was drinking, I was like not in alignment with who I really am. And it kind of sucks to think about. Hindsight's always 2020, right? So if you're struggling with anything, I mean, we all have different forms of addiction. Some people eat too much, some people drink alcohol, some people do drugs, some people smoke weed, some people smoke cigarettes, some people take nicotine. Some people go shopping too much. Some people scroll on their phones for hours and hours. There's so many different forms of escape because that's all it is. We're escaping something or we're numbing out from some type of pain. Like mine was divorce. Divorce really sucked, like almost wrecked me, almost destroyed me, but I'm not gonna let anything destroy me. So I choose to rise up higher than ever before. And I suggest if you're going through some crap, like it's okay. Something cool to think about is whether you believe in Jesus Christ or not, like his disciples, they were all rebellious, all of them. All of them were rebellious. They were all sinners, sinners. I mean, sin just means you missed the mark in archery. It's an archery term, but they were all sinners. They were like immense sinners in their own way. And something cool to think about is like, let the past be the past and just choose today to be better. Choose right now to be better. Sometimes it's hard at first, going like cold turkey dropping your addictions and just like stopping but like figure out who your true friends are too that's something that really i just gained so much awareness when i realized wow i have a set of friends where if i tell them hey you guys you can drink all you want i'm just not drinking i'm i'm done drinking like alcohol's messed with my muscles it's like deteriorated my muscles and i don't like that i like being fit so i'm, I'm not gonna drink alcohol anymore and they're like cool that's awesome. We won't ask you again. We're, we're going to drink occasionally. Like, that's not a problem, right? No, it's not a problem. I don't care if anybody else drinks. I'll hang out with my buddies while they're drinking. But I'm just not going to drink because I want to be super fit. I want to be super fit and I want to be super clear-minded all the time because the clarity I have right now and that I have had since I stopped drinking, it's so amazing. So amazing. So figure out who your friends are that are dragging you down and let them go let them go they don't belong in your life or they only belong in your life temporarily like little moments and then bring your friends closer that lift you up that help you be the best version of yourself because that'll help you a lot whether it's friends or family 
just understand like you came to earth to do some amazing things and it's time to do them so we're spiritual beings live in a temporary physical experience on earth and we all showed up to deliver some amazing gifts and share our talents and our wisdom and just collaborate and simply explore this beautiful life that we all have the opportunity to partake in together like this is just one little segment of beauty this is in utah and yeah what like what's around you what's around you go explore it go invest in yourself and like experience what it's like to begin to tap into your true potential because it, re it really feels so amazing it's refreshing and it's only something you can experience for yourself i know what i'm experiencing for me right now where i am in my life and you can only experience what is meant for you to experience and what you choose to experience in your life. And I pray that you do. I pray that you do. I really do. So wherever you're at, it's okay. It doesn't matter. Let the past be the past. Move on. Draw a line in the sand and step over that line into a new day. Today.